talked to a guidance counselor before. So, what do you think I should do to prepare for my future? Well, why don't you get a stick with a nail at the end? That way you don't have to bend over when you pick up the garbage. <laughs> and which end does the nail go in? And is it true that I need a really long nail so it comes out the other end? And is the moon really a cheesy balloon? <laughs> oh, so you're interested in science. Well, good. Well, maybe you'd be interested in an exciting career as a lab rat. <laughs> There are always new chemicals to be tested. Shampoos don't start as no tears. <laughs> and there are always diseases that have to be tested on something. You mean you can get paid for that? Oh, yes, and they have an excellent retirement program. Uh, look, you know, I better go see if they finish painting my office. <laughs> oh, oh, and uh, could you give this note to your sister, sister? <laughs> She thinks I should be a lab rat. <laughs> Every time that bell rings, I start salivating. Don't feel bad. She told me I should consider the field of party tramp. She recommended the same thing for me. I think this milk is bad. Stand aside. Let a professional decide. Oh! <laughs> It's bad. It's bad. It says good till February 12th. I mean, it should be good for at least another 11 months. Oh, yeah, I have a note for you. You have brushed up against me eight times. I know it was no accident. I am not a cat-scratching post. Signed, The Blind Girl. Oops, that's mine. <laughs> Oh my God, get this, I'm accepted to a program for gifted girls, super achievers. Oh, we're right, <laughs> Tiffany! <laughs> I'm taking the smartest girl from each of the schools in the area and starting a special class to encourage us to pursue careers in math and science. Science? Yeah, we may get to work together someday, you know. <laughs> There's a gas leak downstairs. They think it might be poisonous. I'll tell you if it's poisonous. <laughs> Hi, honey. We love each other. How was school? Lisa was caught playing doctor with Bobby. And little Kathy, she was caught smoking. And Susie, she found out the gym teacher killed her father. And tomorrow, She's gonna kill him. <laughs> and I'm in charge of the cover-up. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I've been accepted to a special class for the top 1% of all the girls in the city. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's my girl. No, that's my girl. My first science project will be to prove that neither of you were responsible. <laughs> this is a big day for me. I'm finally going to be judged on my brains and not just my body. I have to go decide what to wear. Hey, Ryan, what happened in school today, son? Nothing. <laughs> Was Ryan... green? Who cares? The important thing is that Tiffany is smart, and it's all because of me. It's all because of me. Well, I know how to find out who the smart one in this family is. Okay, I'll start. It. 
Oh, yeah? <laughs> I-T-T. Oh. You can't use a company name. You have to use a real word. Damn. I really wanted to use this, too. I was an English major. <laughs> well, try this on. Ass. <laughs> okay. What's the matter, Jack? Stumped? I guess I am smarter after all. Um. Ass-o-matic. <laughs> That's not a word. Yeah, I know, but it's all I could make out of your ass. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Mrs. Finkelstein, and welcome to the Gifted Girls Accelerated Learning Program. Even though I know you're all fluent in Latin, as a special treat, I'm going to teach in English today. <laughs> So, why don't we all stand up and tell the class something about ourselves? Hello, I'm Tiffany Malloy. This is an Armani, and these are my real nails. My name is Susie Nakamoto. I have invented a fuel that will take human beings to the planet Jupiter. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I weigh 97 pounds. <laughs> On the moon, that'd be six pounds. <laughs> Clint, let's warm up with some simple chemistry. Who can tell me why palladium cannot bond with helium? <laughs> Tiffany. Uh, because helium is a gas and palladium is a nightclub? <laughs> to check out her periodic table. I can't believe it. For the first time in my life, I'm actually doubting myself. Well, as Descartes said, in order to examine into the truth, it is necessary once in one's life to doubt of all things. Oh, yeah? Well, as Kate Moss said, I'm superficial, so what? Here's a buck, bring my car around. <laughs> Kate Moss, big model. What is this? Just a halibut. <laughs> oh, uh, say, Jenny, um, could you please pass the butter? <laughs> but of course I can. <laughs> it goes so nicely with your buns. <laughs> say. Would you like to wash that down with a butt wiser? <laughs> hey, Dad, Dad, will you hand me the cellar, re? <laughs> Hi, honey, how did it go? For the first time in my life, I actually felt like your child. Oh, that's not a good thing, Mother. I felt ordinary. I didn't know the answers. The smart girls made fun of me. I used to be the smart girl. <laughs> now I'm just the most beautiful. <laughs> it's not enough. My baby is in pain. I can't stand it. I'll kill them all. <laughs> but, Daddy, they're all girls. Easier. <laughs> I shall not rest until my little girl is avenged. Aw, Jack, you're still on probation for threatening that Girl Scout. Hey, when I order skinny mints, I want skinny mints, damn it. Well, honey, why don't you have a skinny mint from the cookie jar? Because those aren't skinny mints, Miss Smarty Pants. Those are peppermint patties that dirty stinking Honey, work. honey, honey, honey. Oh. It's okay, Jack. It's okay. Take a breath. Okay, now that is enough, Jack. The kids don't know you're just kidding. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe I'd better handle this myself. I'll just go talk to your teacher. Oh, Mom, please don't. Remember when I was in kindergarten and I was afraid of the ball and dodgeball? And you went down to the teacher and came up with a little remedy? Just tie my arms behind my back and throw the ball at me? <laughs> That'd teach me courage. Well, now who's to say it didn't work? Hey, Tiffany. These peas are good. You want to try one? <laughs> oh, sorry, sis. I forgot about your psychological hang-up. <laughs> Psychological hang-ups don't exactly set you apart in this family. <laughs> oh, Jack. <laughs> Honey, are you all right to take out the garbage? Sure. Sure, I guess I am. Come on, Ross. Time you learn. Which bag is for recycling? <laughs> That's a good one, son. <laughs> Patty, I have to catch him. Jack, look what mommy's got. <laughs> you know, Ryan, I never realized how hard it is to be stupid. Not special in any way. The lowest of the low. I've always been the best, ever since potty training. Just ask all those relatives mom and dad invited over to watch me. <laughs> I still hear applause whenever I flush. <laughs> I was good, damn it. I expected nothing but greatness for myself, but maybe... Maybe that potty lied to me. Maybe I'm just... Mediocre! <laughs> Can the tears. I'm not dad, okay? Okay. <laughs> Look, don't worry. You'll learn to love mediocrity. Being nothing is an important job. An extra in the movie of life. Part of the faceless masses. I mean... What good is a parade without, without a crowd watching? Huh? What good is a, a home run without a full stadium there to cheer it? That's me. I'm the crowd. I mean, what would happen if Superman swoops in to save this chick and no one was watching? Without me, there are no heroes. So don't cry for me, Asian Tina, whoever you are. <laughs> so join me, won't you, in staring senselessly into space. What do I do next? Do? Well, how do you get your mind so blank? Huh? L look, I'm not talking to you anymore, okay? I'm finally getting used to being nothing, and I don't need some novice coming around trying to sneak thoughts into my head. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, God. I can't become like you. I'm gonna study my little butt off and never be ordinary again. If I have to let my eyebrows grow together, I will. If I have to wear glasses, I will. Maybe the kind Daryl Hannah wears when she wants to look like she can read. <laughs> I need to boost my confidence, and I know exactly how to do it. If anyone needs me, I'll be on the potty. Skinny mint, Mr. Floppy? I got thousands of them. Scout girl dropped her bag as she was jumping rooftop to rooftop. <laughs> Some of them are broken, but a lot of them are still good. Hey, do it for me, will you? Oh, no. Oh, please. Oh, uh, okay. Cookie! <laughs> One, two, three, cookies! <laughs> You kill me with that. Uh, God, I feel like such a prostitute. Jack, PBS is on. I'm watching it. I guess that makes me smarter than you. Wait a minute, I'm coming up there to watch it with you. After I did cookie for you? What happened to our lives, Jack? You were getting divorced and we had a nice little place just for us. As it turned out, those were the best 13 weeks of our lives. Remember? We even had a little theme song. Yeah.
was a nice song. <laughs> Tech, I need to get out. I'm rotting away like the Republican Party's hopes for the presidency. All right, anything you say. You want to go to a museum? No, Jack, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm smarter. 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 I'm smarter than you. Mom, I'm glad you're here. Help us settle an argument. Who's smarter, me or Jack? Oh, let's see. I'll give you a little puzzle and see who can solve it. All right, you are a network executive. You have a show that's doing all right, but it could be doing better. What would you do to goose up the ratings? I know. That's easy. You simply dress the teenage daughter in skimpy outfits and have her dance around the house. No, 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 no. That's too obvious. I know, I know. You give the writers complete artistic freedom and you pick it up year after year, no matter what. Well, those are both very good answers. But I must say, Jennifer, yours was quite unrealistic. <laughs> if you had really been smart, you would have said... Stunt casting. <laughs> well, I've got the Wayans brothers out in the car. You think we should tell them to come in? No, our viewers are far too intelligent to fall for such shameless pandering. <laughs> Tiffany, can you explain Heisenberg's uncertainty principle to the class? Yes, I can. In 1926, Werner Heisenberg formulated his famous uncertainty principle, in which the more accurately you try to measure the position of a particle, the less accurately you can measure its speed, and vice versa. This is because in order to measure it, you need a quantum of light, but that quantum disturbs the position of the particle, thus changing its velocity. <laughs> That's fine as far as that goes, but perhaps a little simplistic. So, let's move along to... Oh, dear. Oh. Does anyone know how to get this stain out? Soda water now, then tree wash with a spot remover and gentle cycle with a cold rinse. Yeah. You would know something like that. <laughs> yes. Yes, I would. You know why? Because I am an American girl. Yes, a girl. Not a wrinkled up old prune at age 17. <laughs> you all think you're better than me because your brains are the best looking things you've got. Well, let me tell you, there is more to being a woman than just being smart. When you get out there in the real world, looks count, baby. Why do you think Bill is president instead of Hillary? <laughs> if we women are to succeed in corporate America, we can't fight with one hand tied behind our backs. Let's use the whole arsenal. Let's distract him with a flash of thigh as we climb over him on our way to the top. Hypnotize them with our brawless breasts as we take over the company. Yeah. Mesmerize them with our ruby red lips as we whisper, you're fired. So what you're saying is, let's not attack each other. Let's work together, not, not denying our femininity, but um, using it to its full advantage. Good, Mrs. Finkelstein. Oh. <laughs> but perhaps a little simplistic. <laughs> Remember, every inch your skirt is above your knee is 10% more that they underestimate you. Beneath every great woman is a man, usually a corpse. <laughs> so yes, memorize Heisenberg, but also know how to look good in Mr. Heisenberg's shirt the next morning. For if we are to live to put a knife in a man's back, we must first be attractive enough to get behind him. <laughs> ladies, ladies, life is not like this classroom. Yes, I may be the stupidest in here, but out there, this plus this equals the hammer that'll smash through that glass ceiling. So while you're all in here getting your PhDs, I'll be out there getting my CEO. <laughs> Power to the pretty. <laughs> Hey, Amber. Read anything lately? Yeah, uh, the big sale sign outside the Gap. Oh, God, I love you guys. <laughs> Tiffany. And you are? Agnes, from the smart class. 
Oh, my God. You look so different. Almost like a girl. <laughs> Aren't the other girls in the class gonna look down on you? Oh, there is no more class. After you left, we all went shopping and got makeovers. Now we have dates and lives. I'm sleeping with a Marine and a biker, and I'm pregnant. <laughs> Thanks, Tiffany. I owe it all to you. That's not what I meant. She totally misinterpreted my theory. She's gonna be 17 with five kids living in a trailer park. Good. She made fun of me. You know, Tiffany, you are a real influenza in my life. I've been thinking about this day and night since this morning, and uh, I think I finally found my calling. Can anyone tell if this pepper spray is still good? I can.